cafe returns tomorrow. Sue Jones is a hundred and set is sitting on table 170. Where is Sue Jones? Give us a wave. Where are you? She's shy. Oh, many happy returns, and that's not from Emma, all your bingo friends, and don't forget your kiss, kiss, kiss. Right, happy birthday to you. Coins back to the game. Mega win. Twenty-four thousand nine hundred ninety-six. That's what I won. Serious? Taking pictures and the Darren. The mum's just won that. Come on. I love you, man. I really do love you. We love you, <laughs> Sue. Love you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. We'll always love, love you, you soon. We'll never forget you. Forget you. Ah. Oh, yeah. Auntie. On the 15th of June, 1956, Elizabeth Grace Jones 
and Stanley Leslie Jones, giving birth to a beautiful daughter. Her name, Susan Ann Jones. Susan, also known as my mother, was such a lovely person, who I shall miss very deeply, was loved and still is by so many people. She was the kindest, the most caring person you would have known. She was always there for her kids and her family and even her friends, not letting anything get between them. She was always there for a chat, whether it's on the phone or in person. She would always listen to what you had to say, good or bad. She would always help. Yes, she loved the gossip and what was going on and what people were doing. But who doesn't? I know I do. She accepted me for who I am. She accepted people for who they are, whether they're black, white, she would always have a heart to listen to you. She'd done a lot for me when I was a kid. Every time I used to visit, she always made sure I had something to eat, whether it's a bag of crisps or a sandwich. I could say no to her about a thousand times. No, mom, I'm okay. Are you sure you don't want a sandwich? Mom, I'm okay. But mom, like any other mom, they would never let you go hungry. She's the most kindest, loving mother, loving sister, loving daughter, loving nan. Sadly, Susan and Jones passed away on the 7th of April 2020. Mum, this video is for you, to show you, we love you and we miss you. Until we meet again Mum, rest in peace, you'll always be in our hearts. On behalf of the family, we love you so much. Now you go and get that bingo up in heaven. You go and spend time with Grandad. Tell him everything that was going on. You rest, Mum. We love you. And we'll always will. And we will never, never forget about you. Love you.
seems like yesterday used to rock the show. I lace the track, you lock the flow. So far from hanging on the block for though. Notorious, they got to know that life ain't always what it seemed to be. Words can't express what you mean to me. Even though you're gone, we still a team. Through your family, I'll fulfill your dreams. In the future, I can't wait to see if you open up the gates for me. Reminisce some time, the night they took my friend. Try to black it out, but it plays again. When it's real, feelings hard to conceal. Can't imagine all the pain I feel. Give anything to hear half your breath. I know you're still living your life after death.
Many happy returns tomorrow. Sue Jones is a hundred and set is sitting on table 170. Where is Sue Jones? Give us a wave. Where are you? She's shy. Oh, many happy returns, and that's not from Emma. All your bingo friends, and don't forget Siobhan. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Right, happy birthday for tomorrow. Okay, we're good to go. Like a true Jones, you fought until the very end, and we're all so proud of you, Susan. We're all gonna miss you. Now the brain but it's a symbolisis. Horrible virus to us. Now it's a symbol of you. And you're always gonna be looking over us. And we all miss you. And we all love you so much. Rest in peace, Andy. Rest in peace, Andy too. We all miss you. We love you so much. Rest in peace.
What's up, people? Um, wow. This video has been one of the hardest videos I've ever, ever had to make. So... I never ever thought I'd be making a video saying rest in peace mom in 2020. <laughs> mom, we all love you so much. We're all gonna miss you. You was a very, very special person in the family. You've done a lot for everybody. You've done a lot for us when we were kids. You know, you all just stood your ground, always. You always helped people when they needed you. Whether it was to listen or to talk, you've always like been there. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard now, not having her around. It's gonna be very hard. She used to come to Blackpool and absolutely loved it. She used to like smile every time we went out. Even when we got back to my apartment, my flat, she's always been laughing and smiling. She absolutely loved Blackpool. She loved spending money on them machines, them teddy bear mach um, claw machines. She loved them. She also loved her bingo. She kept on saying, I never hit the big jackpot, but I will one day. But mum, if they're playing bingo up in heaven, you're gonna win that jackpot. We're gonna miss you so much. She's done a lot through each and every one of us from when we were kids, when I used to visit her, she used to say to me, do you want a sandwich? Do you want a drink, a pop? Do you want a coffee? Do you want... She's always used to offer me something. I would say no a lot of times, you know. It's too many times, but she would always do it. Even if I had to go back home, she would always like sneak a bag of crisp or three or four bags of crisp in my rucksack. And when I'm traveling back on the train or coach or whatever, I'll open my bag. I've got literally half of picnic in my bag. <laughs> Five different bottles of drink, which I don't drink the fruit water, and she knows that, but I still had like three bottles of different flavoured water. <laughs> she even like on Christmas day, when I lived in Wensbury this was, I used to visit her and she would throw in crackers, like not eating crackers, but crackers that you put on the tree. We had loads on our tree back in Wensbury back then. But I still came home and I opened my bag. There was literally another 20 crackers in my rucksack. <sighs> she always made sure you had a good Christmas or <clears throat> you was okay, basically. She'd always listen. She was her own person. She was the most funniest person. She loved gossip, I love gossip. I know a lot of family members ain't talking, or some are, some ain't. And I only heard that by gossip. But what we all gotta do for this bad situation at the moment, people, those that are in the family, we need to be there for each other while we're going through this nasty, nasty lockdown. There's no time for argument. There's no time for bitchiness. There's no time for none of that. The only time we've got on our hands right now is our loved ones. Because losing my mum to the coronavirus is the one of the hardest painful experiences in my life I've ever been through. Not being able to say my goodbyes, not being able to see her, not even being able to have a service for a funeral. It's just straight to the cemetery. Not being able to be with family while we're more grieving in such pain, heartbroken and just destroyed our hearts. 
I can't I can't even get my words straight but it's such a painful experience people and we have no time for each other bitching at each other we need each other as a family if you don't like certain people just ignore them but just if they need you reach out and support them don't go and message someone else in the family and this they said this and that they said that we're not kids now we're more grown up and we all need each other as a family so if you can't do that for yourself you can't do it for me or anyone else just do it for my mum you know life is too short and we all have to like get on you know most of you didn't really like speak to my mum much or didn't phone or didn't visit her now she's gone it's hurt you and it's upset you but she, I know she loves you so can we all as a family be supportive get on with each other for my mum's sake and be there for each other during this lockdown because we need each other and especially Nan, she needs support as well. She's going through a tough time. And show her some love. It's not easy for Nan at her age, going through such disaster. She's been through a lot like She's been through a lot. Losing Daisy, losing Will, losing her daughter Susan, my mom. So can we all as a family get on with each other, stop your bitchinesses over social media and just keep each other close? Because you never know what's around the corner. I didn't expect my mum to die the 7th of April 2020. She was fine a week before. She was laughing, joking. Now where is she? Look across the room who you're sat with right now watching this video because you need to support them, you need to be there for them. Stuart, even Stuart has been through a hard time in hospital. He caught the um, coronavirus before my mum did. He was in hospital in Redditch Hospital, but Stuart got through it. He, fought, he beat the coronavirus. He really did. And I'm so proud of you, Stuart, for doing that. You're a strong man. And I'm sure my mum would be so proud of you doing it as well. But for, for a family, can we all just stop that bitchiness and get on with each other? For my mum's sake. I know I said a few words about the family and that, you know, when you're visiting me Blackpool and I've blocked most of you saying you didn't visit me. That's only because I was in pit, like pity. I've never stopped loving you. But yeah, Mum, on behalf of all the family, we love you. And again, thank you for each and every one of you that's donated to the funeral. It means a lot. It really does. The coronavirus may have taken Mum. It may have stopped people getting that to her to say our goodbyes but I could say this one thing the coronavirus is not going to stop me visiting my mum on her funeral day I am going to be in Kidderminster tomorrow at quarter to four I think I arrive I'm not sure I'll have to check the times but I'm going to be in Kidderminster tomorrow I'm going to stay there for a week I'm going to give my brother and sister Martin and Emma the support they need, help clean the house, do anything they want me to do, go to the shop, I don't mind. I'm just going to give up so much effort and be there for them too because I, I love them. Me and Martin used to argue like cat and dog when we were kids. In fact, we always did argue, me and Martin, never really got on. But you know what? I've never stopped loving him. And he, he knows, brother to brother, we love each other. 
So people, all I'm asking you to do is please be there for each other, stay home, don't get going out, and just keep each other safe. And after this video, I want each and every one of you to get up and go and wash your hands. That's what you gotta do for mum. So, mum, I love you, and I'm gonna miss you. Rest in peace, my beautiful angel.